as I work this overnight shift in the Bronx, I gotta tell you, nothing about this uniform is a coincidence. Check it out. Everything that I have in these pockets, in this pouch, in this pouch, on this side, this holster, and inside my shirt pocket, nothing about it is a coincidence. If you wanna know everything that I have inside of these pockets, if you wanna know what I carry on every single shift and what I've been carrying on every single shift while working in the ambulance, in a poverty stricken area like the South Bronx, click on the link below in the description box. I'm gonna give you a PDF where I break everything down, my everyday carry as a New York City paramedic who's a doctor and that rides on an ambulance. Click on the link down below. I hope it helps. Hey, yo, I had a subscriber ask me, what is, the, what is to be expected from a hot trauma job? And in this video, I'm gonna answer that question for him and anybody else who might have the same question. Basically, a hot trauma job or a hot medical job is basically a job that includes a scenario or situation that is not commonly seen. So the hotter the job, the more resources you could expect on scene. For example, a person who gets hit by a car, you could expect to have police officers there. But if you have a person who was murdered in broad daylight, then you're going to have ESU, which is the emergency service unit here in New York City, you're going to most likely have firefighters who were in the area, you're going to have other EMS ambulances there, you're going to have a bunch of police officers and helicopters flying all over you. So the hotter the job, the more resources you could expect. As far as you, as far as an EMT, as a paramedic, your job on this call and any other type of call still remains the same. What is your responsibility for these type of patients? and normal patients who don't require all that all those resources is basically the same do no harm be a patient advocate and expedite transport especially when trauma is involved because trauma is a surgical disease by playing around on scene there's nothing that you're doing besides wasting time and basically making the prognosis for your patient a lot worse so what can you expect from a hot job, from a hot trauma job, a shot, a stab, an assault, a car accident, a turned over vehicle? What you can expect is chaos. The adrenaline is pumping. The lights are flashing. The sirens are blaring. People are rushing to your scene, whether they were assigned or not to the assignment. So that being said, keep your cool. Focus on the eye or keep your eye on the prize. Transport the patient do no harm, stay within your scope of practice in an expeditious manner, and then afterwards, if possible, and if necessary, transport to the nearest 911 accepting facility and give them a notification and let them know that you're coming. A lot of times you're gonna have police officers, you're gonna have other type of EMS personnel and anybody else trying to tell you what to do on these scenes, so be careful with that. Just stay the course and everything else should fall into place. I hope this helps. Peace.